Hey guys, how you doing? It's your host, back again, Lights, Camera, and Action. I know I said I would be back in a couple days, but I'm back now. What are you going to do about it? I'm here today to show you how to use a VPN and which one should you choose. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I'm sure you've heard a lot about VPNs, proxy servers, all this. What do I do? Got to stay safe, got to stay connected. You know, maybe you've heard that VPNs can completely protect you or they can do this and that and that. Let me clear some of the error, okay, from a legal perspective, from what we deal with at our law firms. So VPNs aren't actually completely safe as people claim them to be. You know, nothing obviously can always be completely safe to use, but not even is it only a little bit, you know, a tiny bit risky. Uh, some VPNs, depending on which one you choose, are very risky and almost do the opposite of what you're trying to do. Protect your identity, protect your IP address, protect your files, documents. So how does this happen? So basically, there's some things you want to look out for uh, when you're choosing a VPN, first of all. Common misconception that people think um, VPNs are completely safe and untrackable, but that's not true. Some VPNs keep logs. Most VPNs keep logs. Um, a, a lot of these VPNs, you know, some don't or claim they don't. It, it just really depends. You know, um, some keep logs just because they have to and then they, you know, they get rid of them and, um, but they have, you know, their headquarters are in like Panama or, you know, a country where they can't go and, you know, subpoena for these logs or it's very, very difficult to, thus, you know, they don't um, waste their time. You know, that's if you're torrenting something or, you know, things like that, but, one problem is when people trust um, VPNs and do whatever they want, and they say, oh, and then they get a letter in the mail from Malibu Media, Strike Three Holdings, Flavorworks. You've been torrenting our, vo our videos, our movies. Wh what's going on? So, yeah, so what happens is you're using a VPN, but you're almost using a VPN like you're using a internet service. So a lot of VPNs, the mainstream ones, the ones that aren't located, you know, in, in headquartered in a good place. Let's say you have a VPN headquartered in the United States. They get subpoenaed for this person has been using, you know, basically saying you have been using this or this person has been using this through you. You know, you let me know what this person is in their information or we're going to go after you. But if, so if these VPN headquarters are located in the United States, you can get in big, big trouble because it's the same thing as an ISP. They can go after you and subpoena the ISP, you know, the ISP, the VPN, um, the service provider of the VPN, and they'll give you up and, and that's that. And that's how people still get caught using, you know, torrenting, other things like that while using a VPN. So, and, you know, obviously the government can always go in and, and do whatever they want on that end, um, but uh, usually they don't tell you about that. So, another thing to look out for is some of the companies that keep logs and some of like the lower end, um, smaller, you know, maybe they have a hundred clients, you know, maybe they have less, um, you know, I'm not discriminating against these ones, but I will say they have a higher risk, you know, if they don't have a lot of good reviews or a big, you know, client base, um, what happens is they have access to your logs and they have access to everything. So, you know, they have access to a key logger. They can put a keylogger on, on your thing. They they see what passwords you're typing in. They see what softwares you're downloading. They see what files you're sharing. They see everything about you and all your personal info, which is big no-no and big scary. You know, you don't want people, I mean, that's the opposite you want. You know, what's good if, um, you know, maybe you're protecting some people from knowing where you're located or, you know, kind of what you're really doing. But, you know, imagine taking that, away but then giving one person or a couple people complete access to sell your info online and do whatever the heck they want to do with it not good okay so then cameron how do i pick a vpn well let me show you so i will go ahead and show you what people usually type in on google top vpns wow they get uh all these ads and so 2019 best safe vpns i mean Nothing against these websites. Obviously, they usually get you know a backlink, you know commission, affiliate sort of program um, for for the top ten. So that's another thing you always want to watch out for any product for that matter of top tens because they're usually more than likely um, getting money from, which is not always bad. Um, that, that's a completely different video, but if it's uh, you know if it's someone who's promoting what they use regularly, it's not always bad. So how do you find the best VPN? I'm testing reviewing with 70 popular VPN services. Best VPN is a good website. Um, 
you know, obviously I can't confirm if any of them make money in backlinks. I'm sure they do. I mean, uh, but see, they have all the info located in Vi British Virgin Islands. It founded in you know 2009. ExpressVPN wins all around best VPN award. So according to them, ExpressVPN is the best. Again, um, you know, keep in mind it's all consumer's choice. Um, but they support on old devices. They, they they boast fast servers, minimum speed loss. I mean, that's a big thing when choosing a VPN, just for the fact that you know, you know, you you want a nice. Aside from all the privacy stuff, you still want a VPN that works and it's fast and has a couple different features that I'll, you know I'll show you now. Um, this one torrenting is allowed, so legal torrenting is allowed. Uh, you know, no IP leaks. Simple use. Uh, I, I'd have to have check on that one, British. British Virgin Isle. Let's see where this is located specifically. I have an idea, but I want to know who um, is it in fact owned by. Okay, so it's an overseas territory. So it's kind of iffy. Uh, personally, I would st steer clear of anything from you know a bigger country. Stick to the more third world countries. And fortunately, I mean that sounds bad, but you know usually they have the looser laws or you know stuff like that. So. Um, just where they're headquartered, because obviously you can get a VPN from any country you want, but where they're headquartered is important because that's when people go and subpoena. And if it's from a country with loose laws, it's like, oh, well, F off, you know, I can do what I want. But if it's a country like, you know, Britain, they might be, or usually are, I should say, more likely to comply with lawsuits and things like that. So, um, they see, you know, user friendly is a big thing. They, they boast their, you know, download upload speeds. Um, so this is NordVPN. This is what I use, and it's claimed as best cheap VPN. Um, I guess it is cheap. I'm two ninety a month compared to six sixty seven a month. But um, I do I do really like NordVPN. I mean, obviously there's nothing perfect, but they do they do what I like is the double data protection. Um, they have the no logs policy. That's the big thing. See, I don't care how yeah I don't even you know how care. Oh, this is the fastest. It doesn't matter. And it, nothing matters unless you have, you know, you, no logs and, and and obviously, you know, all the privacy stuff. Because in the end of the day, that's your number one goal is for that sort of stuff. Your number two goal, three goal is, yeah, obviously next and finding, you know, one with fast speeds and servers. And so, this, yeah, this one has the largest server network. Torrenting and peer-to-peer -peer downloading is allowed. Um, works with Netflix, which is cool because Netflix um, does... You know, depending on what country you're in, it has different videos. So you can go in any country. I'm not saying I do that, but you can. It's just an interesting fact that you can go in any country and get their specific Netflix movie. So when I go down to Mexico, I go and use Netflix down there and use my subscription. And they have movies that are not just, you know, movies in Spanish or, or produced in, in Mexico or, you know, South America. They have the mainstream movies you know, it, you know, from Hollywood, just, you know, in Spanish, so you just have to switch and turn it off and turn it to English. Very easy. Um, so things like that. Um, they don't like the average download speed. I understand. Um, I don't do a lot of downloading on here. This is more just for me. It's more just for safe browsing and the no logs and, you know, for keeping me safe. So you know, they do the, they, they um, explain the double encryption that uh, combines two servers into one connection, which is awesome. Um, they have a kill switch too, which is cool because, um, well, I'll show you all this, but yeah, they have a kill switch, which confirms they won't log each site you visit or file you download. And see, Panama City location puts them in privacy friendly territory. And that's the number one thing you need to look for. No logs, Panama City, you know, that is why I like NordVPN. Um, it, it, it's all around best in my opinion that and by the way not sponsored not sponsored nor if you want to sponsor us go ahead but uh, not sponsored here um, we pay for ourselves um, but yeah so it comes you know fully loaded with uh, kill switch which is, it won't let you go to um, anywhere where um, without a, a VPN that you that you tell it to so I'll get into that in a little bit um, you know Rock solid connection. You can connect up to six devices simultaneously on almost any platform imaginable. You know, so they all boast something. But I will say, you know, Switzerland jurisdiction. See, that's another jurisdiction thing. Um, most expensive VPN we've reviewed. Well, I guess you know, ten forty nine is a small price to pay for not getting in trouble or not having your data leaks. So, you know, I like mine two ninety nine, easy peasy. Um, 
Yeah. So, you know, perfect price. There's a couple good ones, but yeah, you, you get down to it. It's like, why is it ten forty nine a month where you can't go on your phone or other devices and, you know, it's expensive and that's an okay average speed. You know, if you're going to have, you give up, you know, an average speed from, you know, 667 to 299, you, you, you know, that's okay to give if you're giving up something. So enough of that. So make sure you look for those things when you find a VPN to use. And I'll go up to my VPN settings right here. So here are these settings. Very cool. So I'm connected right now. Always am. Um, which, so first of all, it's cool. They have a map. It's very, very user friendly. Very user friendly. They have a map. You pick which country you want. You, know, you pick what servers you want within the country. Um, you know, specialty peer to peer servers, double VPN, dedicated IP. I mean, over VPN. These are all special specific servers that you can use depending on what you're doing. For an average user, you'll probably just connect. They have an option right here that it's connect randomly to any, you know, any VPN or any host server, I should say. So they do that, but um, you know, so you won't really be getting into this. And, but uh, you know, it's important to look through. These are also interesting settings to have. Um, I've turned these off just for the video creating. Um, one thing I have is my light settings, my light system, they're key light, Elgato key lights. And what I can't do is invisibility on LAN because um, when I'm recording, because what happens is they're Wi-Fi oriented, so they um, cease to connect. So it's, it's. I was very confused one time when I put that on and, and, I, and that was before I was uh, filming and it very, very, you know, very confusing. But uh, you can put auto connect on whenever you turn on the computer. Um, I always have CyberSec on and just extra malware, you know, security, things like that. Um, NordVPN on startup. Uh, that's just for, you know, starting it, but you want to auto-connect to, you can pick what server you want to auto-connect to, and you have favorites. Um, you know, visibility on LAN, that's if you have a big, you know, um, if you have a big network or you're at a public place and you want to use a VPN, I would recommend that. Um, this is cool too. It, it you know... Some people forget to turn on the VPN when they go on the internet, so this doesn't allow you to use the internet unless you're using VPN, which is very cool. Um, you know, you obviously want to get. I have my notifications on, and start. You can start and minimize if you want. If you, you know, it's 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 very. And you can go in advanced settings, and you know, it, it's very it's very user friendly, and it and it is you know advanced when you want to. So that's basically how you choose a really good VPN, and and basically you just click it and you start. And uh, you see now my new my new IP address is I, I'm still in the United States technically you know according to the uh, to the VPN but you know this is my VPN IP, IP address not my IP address and uh, I can disconnect when I want to and and that's basically it so that's how you use a VPN and make sure you use it safe secure and you know follow these steps and I will say as a disclaimer nothing is always perfect and you never know what can happen. So if you do get an, a letter from someone and you're doing all these steps, don't come over and blame me because you never know situation by situation something can happen. But um, generally, if you keep logs or if you don't use a VPN with logs, things like that, you don't use a VPN, you use a VPN, I'm sorry, that non-strict privacy laws, um, that's your best bet. You know, that's the safest you can be. Not everything's 100%, but you can get well into the high 90s. So... I want to thank you again for watching this video. Um, I appreciate everyone giving love, showing love to lights, camera, action. I know I'm fairly new here, so I hope you guys, you know, enjoy some of the transition of me into some videos. I'm going to be making more videos here, um, trying to hit a couple videos a week. So that that's the main goal. Um, look out for a news video early next week. Have a great day. Have a great night. Call us if you have any questions about anything. Thank you very much. Legal notice disclaimer. The foregoing is general legal information only and not legal advice or a substitute for legal advice. The information may not be accurate, complete, or current. Do not rely on our videos. The law office of Stephen C. Vondren, Vondren Legal, is licensed to practice law in California and Arizona. The decision to hire a lawyer is an important one and should not be based on attorney advertising alone. This is an advertisement and communication. We do not handle all calls in all cases.